Bowser not closure map. It's coming right at us. Okay, buddy. What's on your mind? Oh shit, there's two of them! Oh, big 28s! No one's been this close before! Hey, what's up guys? 104 from Maverick checking in with another video. This time we're up against two MiG-28s and then two MiG-29s in this two versus one AI dogfighting series. Now, a little change in this video from the last one. I've been asked by a few people not to take any head-on shots, just to give the AI a bit more of a chance and also to demonstrate my positioning of the aircraft a little bit more for how I get behind these guys and then get some shots off. I've also given the AI more lateral separation so they're not coming at me from the same piece of airspace just to give them a bit more room to box me in if they get the chance to do so. So in this video I won't be trying any head on shots and only going for kills in the rear hemisphere. Some of the key points for you guys to look out for in this video is my energy management but also how often I go for lag pursuit rather than lead or pure pursuit. This is something really important to remember and keep in mind as it's one of the top things that new pilots get wrong when it comes to dogfighting. You should always be trying to get behind the bandit rather than just trying to pull your nose out in front of him or get your nose on him to get that quick kill. It's much better to manoeuvre behind the bandit and then try and shoot him rather than spend all your energy trying to bring the nose onto the bandit as he passes across your nose from left to right or right to left. Now, that might sound a little bit basic. I know some of you might be sitting there thinking, well, hey, Maverick, that's a great help. Get behind them and shoot them. Really, bro, I didn't know that. But hopefully you'll see what I mean when you watch the video. There are lots of opportunities for me just to pull the nose onto the bandit and try and get a quick shot. But you'll see instead of doing that, I intentionally position the aircraft into lag pursuit to try and get a better angle on it. All right, here we go. First up is the two MiG-28s. Let's get her done. Nails, one o'clock. That's a MiG-28. There are bandits. MiG-28, 12 o'clock, one mile. Spike, one o'clock. 12 o'clock high, six o'clock. Oh shit, I lost luck! 7 o'clock low. 12 o'clock low. Three o'clock low. Five o'clock high. Oh what? I lost luck! Six o'clock high. Five o'clock high. Six o'clock low. Three o'clock. Twelve o'clock low. Twelve o'clock high. I lost lock. Get him off our back. Coming left. Seven o'clock high. He's maneuvering for a shot. Coming right. Spike. Twelve o'clock. 10 o'clock high. He almost has us. Coming right. Shit, he's almost got us. Coming left. Ten o'clock high. Twelve o'clock high. One o'clock high. One o'clock high. He almost has us. We're on a six. Nice job. Twelve o'clock high. Five o'clock low. Two o'clock. Twelve o'clock. Bandit is down. Five o'clock. Eight o'clock high. He's coming right, man. He 
He's on a six. Watch it. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Watch it. Six o'clock. Six o'clock. Coming right. Eleven o'clock low. One o'clock high. One o'clock low. Oh shit, lost the lock. One o'clock. Twelve o'clock high. Come on, man. Twelve o'clock. Closing. On a six, you got this. Okay, this bro's pretty much dead. I follow him for a little bit and try to do the inverted keeping up foreign relations move, but unfortunately, as soon as I get close, he just ejects, um, and I don't get a chance to do it. So we'll move on and take on two MiG 29s now. We uh, we've got a bandit. One four five four miles. There are bandits. Fulcrum. Twelve o'clock. Two miles. Spike, one o'clock. Twelve o'clock, one o'clock. Six o'clock low. Seven o'clock low. Three o'clock low. Four o'clock. Ten o'clock. Five o'clock high. He's coming left. Six o'clock. Seven o'clock low. Six o'clock low. Eleven o'clock low. Twelve o'clock low. Twelve o'clock high. Twelve o'clock high. Oh, we lost the lock. One o'clock high, seven o'clock low. One o'clock low, seven o'clock low. He's coming right. Twelve o'clock low, twelve o'clock low. Eleven o'clock high, two o'clock high. Ten o'clock. Five o'clock low. He's coming left. Twelve o'clock low. One o'clock low. Twelve o'clock high. Six o'clock high. Ten o'clock. Oh, uh, really? I lost the lock. Three o'clock low. Six o'clock high. Eleven o'clock high. Four o'clock high. Two o'clock high. Three o'clock low. Bandit is going down. He is on our six. Six o'clock low. Shit, get rid of him. He's right behind us. Four o'clock low.
eight o'clock low. He's coming right. Watch it, six o'clock, six o'clock, coming right. Three o'clock low. Twelve o'clock high. Two o'clock high. Six o'clock low. Two o'clock low. Six o'clock high. Five o'clock. Four o'clock low. Seven o'clock high. He's coming right. One o'clock. Eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock high. Twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock low. Twelve o'clock high. Twelve o'clock low. The last time he broke it. Nine o'clock high. Eleven o'clock high. Spike. Twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock low. Oh, you son of a! I lost the lock. Five o'clock high. You got this. Shoot him. Twelve o'clock high. Damn it, I lost the lock. Eight o'clock. Eleven o'clock high. Four o'clock low. I lost lock. He's right in front of us. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe even learned something too. Um, just a quick shout out to a few people that have upset with this video series. I'm not calling out anyone by name here. I know there's lots of YouTubers now that do BFM videos and I'm certainly not trying to trash every one of you who has a, a BFM video against the AI. But I have taken a bit of heat for my comments and probably rightly so. So just to clarify a few things. I'm not saying that fighting against the AI is totally useless for developing your skills. As I mentioned previously, it is a great way to get to grips with handling the aircraft, but in terms of developing your air-to-air -air tactics, what the AI is going to give you is extremely limited. So if you're new to dogfighting, please do not believe the hype from some people that training against the AI will take your skill level beyond someone who trains against real people. Because it won't. Well, unless you're fighting against people who are also new to BFM or just not very good at it. If you want to become good at BFM, train against other people who have experience in dogfighting and who also train against other people themselves. 
what the AI will give you is the basics, but what training against other skilled opponents will give you is much more advanced. And while it is true that real people will make more mistakes in the AI while dogfighting, it's also true that the AI are incredibly predictable. And as you've seen in these videos, it's not that difficult, although not a total walk in the park, to take two of them down even when you're outnumbered. And one thing I can bet you with 100% certainty is that I will be able to shoot down two F-18s, AI F-18s that are set on excellent on my own. But if I was to try the same thing against, say, two guys from the SF squadron in Finland, I wouldn't stand a chance. So the model of the story is, if you want to learn the basics, start with the AI. But if you really want to up your game, go and find some people who have experience in BFM and start bashing heads with them. You'll see a huge increase in your skill level. Alright, so I'll catch you guys for the next one where we'll take on two F-15Cs and then two F-18 Hornets. Should be an interesting one. Top Gun and Volleyball, Maverick out.